today from Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. This is the National Football League. see Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs taking on Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago predictably loud and raucous here at Arrowhead as their beloved Chiefs took field and they are set to match up with the Cleveland Browns. Cody Parkey now, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. Taking it about the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. We know the arm strength is certainly there. He's got a big-time cannon for an arm. And that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former major league pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm, develop the touch that's needed, and carry his team towards the playoffs? They'll start with the option. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. Here's second and ten. Now an option play on second down. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Number 26. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Mahomes on target to Watkins for a KC first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense. Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. He was tackled. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. 
found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And they run the option here on first and 10. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. On second down now. It's Bell, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, it's almost a tendency breaker. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Kansas City touchdown. Demarcus Robinson, 35 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it. Get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible? Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense. And they end up in the end zone. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So that drive goes eight plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Now Donovan Peoples-Jones. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here come the Browns on offense with Baker Mayfield, the former number one overall pick at quarterback. Is it okay if I give him a few props right here? Do you mind? I think he's earned it. Go ahead. Okay, how about a guy who was a two-time walk-on, who later became a two-time Big 12 Player of the Year, has the most touchdown passes in Big 12 history with 129, a Heisman Trophy into his credit, and took his team to the college football playoff semifinal twice while at Oklahoma. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 26. <laughs> Off the play fake, he'll set up to throw it. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. 
Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. One yard. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Mayfield. He's going to look deep now for Landry. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. Landry, But instead, third down. That sun's going to be a factor all game long. I'm not sure it made a difference on that one, but it's something to think about on all deep throws during this time of year. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Working out of the gun, Mayfield, and finding the tight end, Hooper. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Mayfield finding Hooper there for a Cleveland first. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. On first and 10, Mayfield. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Rashard Higgins was the one he was looking for. But it'll be second down. They'd given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. And again, it's Mayfield. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Going to the air again with Mayfield. That one is caught by Hunt. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. It's a gain of ten, and the Browns are going to get a first down. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me... Their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So first and 10 now from the 30. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. About three yards there to the Mayfield 27. To give to Nick Chubb. Well, that's just a pile of bodies and there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand three. up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, seven. but for both the sides, they had to walk away line. from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Dancing to his left. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Mayfield. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. And the nimble footwork gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. Seven yards, the pick up there. Brings up second and three at the Chiefs' nine-yard line. Second and three from the nine. Check, check. 
First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Kareem, seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Some good, strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll run. Here's Chanovich, the fullback. Stops short. Down at the one. Had the broken tackle, but couldn't get it all the way home. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. That's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defense coordinator. Body after body getting to him before he can get started. Second and goal from the one. They'll give it to Chubb. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. A one-yard run on first down, another one on second. It might not do much for the yards per carry average, but it gets them six points. And at contract time, you want to show touchdown scored way more than you want to show yards per carry. is on now for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Working from the gun, Mahomes. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'll contain him to just four, second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Second and six, just inside the 30. On play action, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. 
to throw. It's Mahomes. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know this made me jump the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. down Mahomes and going deep for Hill and that is incomplete he was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time and that'll bring up second down from the snap he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball but surprise that guy was covered so that took his attention elsewhere to no avail So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Larry Ogunjobi in for the sack. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big. But sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? typically a blitz and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen now that allows your blitzers to get there after the sack things get a little tougher here third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs now here's Mahomes a screen to Bell and they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. drive about to get started the last possession these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown now they'll have a chance to move out in front yeah let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back the special teams went out there handled things they've got it they've got momentum i know they're eager to get out there and put it on display it's a gain of five and it'll be second down all defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, Mayfield. It's caught over the middle, Hooper. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Throwing, Mayfield. He'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Three yards the gain there, second down. One-yard line. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. Quick hitter here. It's complete. 
And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A first down throw for Mayfield. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Tano Passigno just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield going right side here, and that's complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And like any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Eluding the pressure right. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Oh, no. So they decline it as that will bring up fourth. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. Fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Check, 93 the mic, 93 the mic. Let's make these Shotgun snap to Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. And as you saw right there, this is a guy with pretty good speed for a tight end. Nice job there, catching the short throw and turning it upfield. He can also be a weapon downfield as well. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make this a second down.
Throwing now is Mahomes. A quick slant to Hill. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 43 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Butker on for the PAT. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Peoples-Jones returning. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Browns take over first and 10 at their own 20. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Mayfield going deep here for Landry and nearly picked off there almost intercepted instead second down Jarvis Landry love the idea love the concept but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch that was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play once again they'll go from the 23 yard line on second and 10 Mayfield hands to Chubb on the draw. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. This defense is really thrown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Mayfield now. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down up to 26. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job is simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Hardman on the return. 
It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. Set to take over, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Now, they must have seen something leading up to this one that said, hey, we're going to be able to go deep because they've gone deep with a lot of success. And pick your phrase, pick your code words, your buzzwords, whatever, vertical stretch, deep passes, go routes, right? What's that Why? guy you love? What's that oh, guy you love? Four verts. Four verts. All of it working because they're able to find ways to get deep and for him to show off that big, big arm. We see some of that big arm right here. He has been great. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. now on first down. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. When you see zone defense, and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go, because he might wander into some tough coverage. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Mahomes pass caught by Watkins. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 18. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Seven brings up second and three at the 11-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. The leading rusher for last year's national champs, LSU, it's Clyde edwards alaire And he will take it all in for a Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Well, they ran the toss, trusting he had the speed to get to the edge, and he did. And there really wasn't any doubt about that because the scouting report told you this guy could flat out run. When you give him a little bit of space and a chance to get there, he usually does. Butker now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to That time, a six-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards-Alaire.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Peoples-Jones returning. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 20. The offense trots back out there. Let's turn our focus now to Nick Chubb. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try to mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now. First and 10 at their own 23. He'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, but I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. A run for Nick Chubb. Broke a tackle, but not much room there ultimately. Just up past the 25 and no further. He was brought down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The Browns on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Kaderil Hodge has it complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11-yard pickup. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. He's brought down at the and we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Brings up second and nine. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Mayfield able to find Hunt out of the backfield. It's a gain of six on the play, and just like that, it's third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And that is incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Here we go. Here we go. Here's Jamie Gillendale as he's on to punt for Cleveland. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. First and 10 at their own And we put our focus line. now on Le'Veon Bell. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. From the third team now, they work on first and ten. In your face. 56 Looking to throw is Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Bell. 
And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Good. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second down completion, got him seven. Now here's third and three. Now it's Mahomes again. And this is going to be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Tommy Townsend now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. First down, Mayfield. Escaping the pressure right. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Mayfield off the play fake. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Rashad Breeland there defensively and able to knock that one down to the ground. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. On third down, Mayfield. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the gun, Mayfield. He'll get this into the hands of Hodge. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And again, it's Mayfield. 
And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Thrown away and incomplete. It's third down. And three yards to go. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Mayfield with it once more. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. Flush to his right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Baker Mayfield in the final seconds of the first half. And the Browns have cut it back within a score. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Now Parkey for the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So that drives seven plays in length. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Taking it about the one. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to an excellent first half from the gunslinger, Patrick Mahomes. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. see the football first but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports fielded a couple yards into the end zone and this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27 yard line the Browns take over first and 10 at their own here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone and just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive when you scored points it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Got a man. That's Rashard Higgins. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here. And he also picks up a first down. 
But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Mayfield on play action. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second and two, Mayfield. He was trying to get it to Kadero Hodge, and it's third and short. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Third down and two yards to go. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. fake Mayfield he'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield that catch good for only a couple and we see another pitch and catch there to the running back this position just continues to evolve they become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense To throw again on second down. Mayfield. And he completes it to Hunt. Give him six Mayfield. on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of six. And it's third down. Turn to the ground game, Chubb. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They run. Chubb. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Touchdown. Nick Chubb, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, let the natural light of today reflect that he has now gotten into the end zone two times. Look at you. 
You're a little uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson, is that his name? No, I was just going with the meteorologist. Said it was a day game, I'm here. Now Parkey for the extra point. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And Nick Chubb, the one to finish it off, as he does so with a touchdown run. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Try and get the running game going with Bell. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Now Mahomes. Throw left side complete. It's Bell. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. That was a beautiful executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. here on first and 10 and down he goes at the 49 a three yard pickup sometimes with the running game you've just got to stick with it look it's the third quarter no time to panic but that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays but stay with the overall essence of the running game run got three now here's second and seven they'll go again with bell and he's going to take this across the 50 into brown's territory well they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half they've got to find a way to get him going he's a big part of their offense third and three Looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. That's good. They're able to convert with a gain of four. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Just me and you. It's just me and you. 
They'll run. It's Edwards Alaire. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him much better opportunity to convert on third down. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Denzel Ward right there in coverage to get the hand in. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Would have been right at about a 52-yard field goal try, but no, they are going to go for this thing on fourth down. They'll go. It's Edwards Alaire. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. The 30-yard line. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. This is caught. Watkins. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. fake here on first down blitz coming and down he goes mac wilson the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight well that was point counterpoint wasn't it they decided to throw for it on first and goal instead the defense counters with pressure and the defense wins getting a big sack First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Now here's Mahomes. That one complete to Hill, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. When you decide to run a hitch route, it really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Of the ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Ten yards gets him closer, but now it's fourth and goal. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. A field goal would break the tie, but look at this. 
Instead, they're going to go for it on fourth and goal. They'll run it with Bell, and he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run, and the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the lead. This is what I love about calling these games. Fourth and goal. This is all about leverage. Who wants it more? And who's going to get it done at the point of attack, the line of scrimmage. Butker on for the PAT. It's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it ends with a Le'Veon Bell touchdown run. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. 25-yard line. And the Browns getting set to go. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Here's Nick Chubb as they try to fire up this run game. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and seven, Mayfield gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We're back now in KC. It's the Browns with a deficit. They're trailing, but with the football here to start the fourth. seven of their ten tries. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he is going to have a Browns first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. And he's taken down, a cheap sack. It was Frank Clark that time who got in there to bring him down. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. 
another try after the first down sack. Mayfield. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. The Browns on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This is third and 16. That one is caught by Hunt. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Jamie Gillendale as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. So, Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Bell, and I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. From the 24. Mahomes, a screen to Bell. And down he'll go at the 25. Mahomes pass, complete to Le'Veon Bell. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed, but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. The Chiefs on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and five. Working from the gun, Mahomes. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he will have the Chiefs first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So first and 10 now from the 30. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Second and seven operating from the 34. Mahomes going to throw. That to his running back, Edward Zolaire. Wow. Seven yards there and a first down. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. Defense. 
So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Throwing now is Mahomes. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And finally wrestled down at the 8-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. This is caught. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. A gain of seven brings up second and goal at the one-yard line. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run with Edwards Alaire. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you're <laughs> without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one but was denied as he tried to get the second one. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here. Third and goal. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And this time he is in. Yes. Clyde Edwards Alaire with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Butker now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A 10-play drive that time, and it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Now after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. Peoples-Jones returning. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Take over first and 10 
at their own 28-yard line. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Open man is Higgins. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. From the gun, Mayfield, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. He'll get this into the hands of Hodge. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. But correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. He's got Hooper on the short connection. That catch good for only a couple. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Mayfield with it once more. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. That one, a first down pickup of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Mayfield on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Got to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. From the 21, it's second and 10. And again, it's Mayfield toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for the Michigan Wolverine, Donovan Peoples-Jones. And it'll bring up third down. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Yards to go. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Going to the air again with Mayfield. And that will be incomplete. And that one off the mark. A little late with a throw. 
incomplete. It's fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. Going for it all. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Rashard Higgins. Rashard Higgins there to make the grab. And the Browns are back within a score. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like... Up for the uh, yeah, you know... Doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Now after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Caught it to 26. yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. Go, go. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and then by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. is a big third down and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Edwards Alaire on the counter and he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And whistles and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 153 left. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. Well, 
last run got a couple here, second and eight. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46 yard line. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here to have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. So here we go, Charles. Third down. Any chance you're throwing? I don't think so. I think you got to keep the clock rolling here. And indeed, they will keep it on the ground. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. It's a pickup of two, and that's good enough to just about right a finish to this one. So they did keep it on the ground, Charles, just like you thought they would. Yeah, it was the right play, and they executed it almost to perfection. And that first down should just about write it into this one. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about right a finish to this one. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at EA Sports.